میں نئی حکومت کے سربراہ اور چیف منسٹر صاحب سے ریوت رڈی صاحب سے مطالبہ کروں گا کہ آپ پرانے شہر کے اور شہر حیدرباد کے سارے ہمارے ایم ایل ایس کی ایک میٹنگ بولائیے ہم سارے مسائل کو آپ کے سامنے رکھیں گے اور ان مسائل کو آپ ایک کے بعد ایک ان کو حل کرتے ہوئے آپ آگے بڑھیں تو ہم آپ کے ممنون و مشکور رہیں گے اس کے ساتھ ساتھ میں یہ بات بھی کہوں گا آپ سے کہ آپ نے اپنے منیفیسٹوں میں اتنے وعدے اتنے اعلانات سب کچھ کیے لیکن افسوس کے ساتھ کہنا پڑتا ہے کہ منیفیسٹوں میں اردو کا ذکر نہیں تھا ریاست تلنگانہ کی دوسری سرکاری زبان کا موقف دیا تو ٹی آر ایس کی حکومت نے اور کیسی آر صاحب نے دیا میں ان کا شکریہ آدھا کرتا ہوں کہ اردو کو دوسری سرکاری زبان کا موقف دیا گیا لیکن اردو کے ساتھ انصاف ہوا لیکن جیسے ہونا تھا ویسا نہیں ہوا میں امید کرتا ہوں کہ آپ اردو کے ساتھ انصاف کریں گے اردو کو اس کا جائز حق دیں گے اور اردو بولنے والوں کے ساتھ انصاف کریں گے آپ نے اپنی اپنے مینفیسٹوں میں یہ بھی کہا کہ ڈی ایس سی کا انعقاد کریں گے ہم بار بار بولتے رہے ہیں راہ شکریٹی صاحب کے دور سے ہم بولتے آئے ہیں اور میں راہ شکریٹی صاحب کو ہر وقت یاد کرتا ہوں کیونکہ وہ ایک ہمدرد شخص تھے اور اگر کوئی کہتا ہے کہ ہم کانگریس کے خریب تھے تو میں یہ کہنا چاہتا ہوں کہ ہم کانگریس کے خریب راشے کے رڈی کی وجہ سے تھے ان کے اخلاص کی وجہ سے تھے ان کی محبت کی وجہ سے تھے ان کے ہمارے لیے ہمارے مسائل کو حل کرنے کی وجہ سے تھے ہم راشے کے رڈی صاحب کے بے شک خریب تھے ہمارے کام کرتے تھے اور آج ہم آپ سے مطالبہ کرتے ہیں آپ سے درقاس کرتے ہیں کہ اردو کے ساتھ انصاف کریے ڈی ایس سی کو اردو کے پوسٹ جو ہوتے ہیں اس میں آپ ڈی ایس سی جب کرتے ہیں تو ایس سی ایس ٹی اور بی سیز رہتے ہیں وہ ایس سی ایس ٹی بی سیز کو اردو نہیں آتی ہے لیکن خانون یہ کہتا ہے کہ آپ ایس سی ایس ٹی کو وہ پوز دیں تو آپ کو چاہیے کہ آپ دو وقت اس کا نوٹیفیکیشن دیں دو وقت نوٹیفیکیشن دینے کے بعد وہ جتنے ایس سی ایس ٹی اس کے اور بی سیز کے اردو کے جو پوسٹ ہیں جو انفیلڈ ہیں وہ اوپن ہو جاتے ہیں یہ امپورٹنٹ چیز ہے میں امید کر رہا رہا کہ آپ کی تھنگ ٹینک آپ کو بولے گی اور کہے گی کہ اردو کے پوسٹ کے لیے اردو کے لیے انصاف کے لیے مینفیسٹو میں یہ بات ڈالیں گے کہ ہم اردو کے پوسٹ کو ڈی ریزرف کریں گے لیکن یہ کام نہیں ہوا میں امید کرتا ہوں کہ آپ یہ کام کریں گے اردو جب دوسری سرکاری زبان ہے تو جتنے بھی کامپیٹیٹیو اگزامز ہیں جتنے بھی پروموشن کے اگزامز ہیں ڈپارٹمنٹل اس کو اردو میں بھی منخت کرنا چاہیے یہ ضروری ہے یہ کام نہیں ہو رہا ہے اور جتنے ریکروٹمنٹ کے آپ کے اگزامز ہیں وہ اگزامز کو بھی اردو میں رکھئے یہ بھی ضروری ہے میں امید کرتا ہوں کہ آپ میرے ان باتوں پر توجہ دیں گے اور میں اس کے ساتھ ساتھ آگے بڑھتے ہوئے یہ بات بھی آپ سے کہوں گا کہ it was in 2004 on the eve of assembly polls the congress party had entered into a poll alliance with TRS after promising Telangana state more than five years later in the second term of the UPA government at the center and, and the congress government in the state the central government made the December 9th announcement of Telangana statehood in 2009 plunging to the United AP into a, a turmoil ultimately the congress working committee decided to bifurcate Andhra Pradesh in mid 2013 and followed it up with enactment of AP Reorganization Act in early 2014. Telangana state came into being on June 2nd, 2014. That is exactly 10 years after the promise was made by Congress before the 2004 Assembly and Lok Sabha elections. Earlier too, during 1969 and 1971, the Telangana agitation rocked the United AP and it was led by former congressman who had floated Telangana Praja Samiti. Incidentally, this earlier moment was suppressed by the Congress government at state and in the United Andhra Pradesh state, sir. Sir, I would like to tell my Congress friends that the history cannot be one-sided and it has to be two sides. In the year 1969 to 1971, Agitation scores of youth were killed in police firing and in 2001 and 13 moments scores of youth committed self-immolation 
who or which government were responsible for these debts. I don't know how the change of government following the assembly polls can be called as the liberation day, liberation, liberation of Telangana people from 10 years of repression. So I'm, I'm saying this because I'm very saddened. When I was going through the Honorable Governor's address, in my 25 years of legislature life, I have never seen such an address by any government. <laughs> Sir, I, I, I'm sorry to say, but I still feel like the Congress party is still in the election mode. Elections have ended. We said what we had to say. We criticized how much we wanted to. We also leveled allegations, personal remarks. But now, people have given the verdict. They have chosen you. And they have chosen them to sit there. They have chosen us to be here. So now we have to, we have to come together for the development of the state. We have to come together to fulfill the promises made by the party which has been given the responsibility of governing the state for the next five years. Sir, going further ahead, sir. The Congress and BRS term September 17th, 1948, the day of accession or merger of erstwhile Hyderabad state into Uni Indian Union as, as integrated integration day, whereas the BJP and left party term it as a liberation day. Now the Congress, now the Congress wants to celebrate the liberation day on December 3 or maybe December 7 as the party regained power after a gap of nearly 10 years since the formation of Telangana state. The Congress party has taken the historic decision on formation of Telangana state, but in the elections held in 2014, the people had given the mandate to TRS, which has fought for separate statehood. There is no doubt, yes, they had fought. And many other leaders joined them, and everybody fought for it. Yes. But we cannot deny the role, the major role of TRS and the major role of KCR. Again in 2018, the people voted for the TRS, which secured a greater majority. So terming the people's verdict in the previous two elections as something undemocratic or vote of autocratic, dictatorial or feudal role sounds something, something very sad. Sir. It is not, sir. Sir, we are, we are here. Sir, it is, it is a democracy. We are living in a democracy. The people have the right. They can give me an opportunity or they can reject me. So we, we, cannot, we cannot question the decision of the people. If today the Congress is questioning and giving names to the verdict of the people of yesteryears, then the same thing might happen with the Congress for the verdict which have been given today by the people. We need to be cautious. Sir, we need to be very cautious. Elections have ended. We are here for progress. We are here for development. We are here to fulfill the promises made to the people. We, we have to be focused on that rather than, you know, pulling each other. Apart from the, sir, so terming the people's verdict, I have already said, sir, apart from the six guarantees outlined under Abhay Hastam and the promises made under right to youth, SCST minority BC declaration, many other initiatives have been assured by the Congress. Understandably, the governor's address has set out the priorities, policies, programs, and schemes of Congress government for all round development of the state and welfare of all sections of people. I would like to recall that the backward classes, scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, and minorities account for an overwhelming proportion of the state's population, sir. They together constitute almost 85%. BC is 46%, SC is 15.5%, ST is 9.2%, and minority is 14.3% of the state's population, sir. The Congress has committed to provide a better deal to all these sections. It has promised to introduce minority subplan, as also the BC subplan, named after Mahatma Jyoti Pole. The Congress has assured 
to spend 2,000 crore per annum amounting to rupees 1 lakh crore in 5 years period for BC welfare and this is a welcome step sir. Similarly the party has assured to enhance the minority welfare budget to rupees 4,000 crores including 1,000 crore annually for subsidized loans to minority youth and women sir. Sir when I say about and I talk about 4,000 crores for minority let me make it very, very clear to the government sir. what the Congress government is doing in Karnataka and what it was doing in Rajasthan and you know they were calculating the amount spent on other schemes also for in the minority budget kindly do not do that if we have to see the other schemes with which the minorities got benefited in the last nine and a half years like in pension like in uh, Shadi Mubarak or Rai to Bandhu, Rai to Bhima and other schemes where Muslims are also part. If we have to take into account that amount and the 2,200 crores, we have already crossed 5,500 crores. I hope that the 4,000 crores will be only for minority welfare department. I hope that. I hope. So the Congress has promised to rename Dalit Bandhu scheme as Ambedkar Abhaya Hastam and extend it to both SCs and ST and to raise the financial assistance to rupees 12 lakh per family, sir. The party has also assured to raise the reservation of SCSTs to 18% and 12% respectively, sir. However, the Congress has maintained a silence on the demand for raising the reservation for socially and economically backward sections of Muslims of 12%, sir. Congress ne apni election ki campaign ne ilzam lagaya. Bara fisad, bara fisad, bara fisad. Magar bara fisad ka zikar apne manifesto me nahi kiya. Me jana chaarao chief minister saab se. Thik hai, inho ne nahi diya. Kya aap dene wale hai? Kya aap denge? Kya aap sincere hai? Sawaal hai. Aur assembly ke records ko utha kar dekhi hai. منلس اتحاد المسلمین کی طرف سے میں نے کھڑے ہو کر اس وقت آتا بارہ فیصد ملتا ہے ملنے دو نہیں ہم اب کو چار فیصد ہم حاصل کرے راشے کریڈی صاحب کے دور میں اس کو خائم و بائم خائم رکھنا یہ بڑی ذمہ داری ہے تو آپ ٹھیک ہے یہ نہیں دیئے آپ دے رہے ہیں کیا بتائیے کیا آپ دیں گے کیا and I go for the rest sir sir I may recall that the Telangana government has enacted a bill in the state Legislature based on the report of the state BC Commission and STSC Commission and the finding of Sudhi Commission and Chalapa Commission to raise the quantum of reservation to 12% for BCE category and 10% for ST. 